Over the last 10 years, James Moria has moved from an unknown personal brand to a globally celebrated personal brand. So we are excited to join him here today to celebrate what has been a very exciting reign over the last 10 years at the top of the Centum Group. My name is Paz Moshiri Mugo, the Managing Director of Nabo Capital, and you're watching Invest in Africa. James Moria. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. Pleasure. Yes. Yeah. From unknown to known. Yeah. Just what happened within that period of time? Yeah, thank you. I think, um, you know, the last 10 years have been um, a wonderful time for, for me as a leader. Many highs, uh, many lows, um, challenges, uh, opportunities, uh, journey of creating what does not exist. It's not so much the numbers, it's about the people I have had a chance to, to work with the different opportunities we've had the opportunity to to conceive and bring to life and the lives that have been touched uh, consequently mm -hmm. so i would say for me it's been uh, a rewarding journey mm -hmm. it's been a journey of personal growth mm -hmm. but it's also been a journey of having that opportunity to empower others mm -hmm. and to see others also grow mm -hmm and be able to manifest themselves into something totally different mm -hmm. and, and, and give back and, mm -hmm. and, and, start, and start producing. So uh, I would characterize it as, uh, as rewarding, as uh, fulfilling, mm -hmm. as, uh, as, as, as a journey of, of growth. That's what these 10 years have, have been. Yeah. yeah. You know, James Moore, I can't avoid to say this, mm -hmm. but on your first day, which mm -hmm. I remember like yesterday, yeah. you called us to the boardroom. Yeah and you are only 30 years old. Yeah. And you said, I remember these words, Centum is sitting on a gold mine. Yeah. And we're going to work very hard. Yeah. And you're going to be very rich. Yeah. <laughs> and it's been a privilege for me to be part of those 10 years. Yeah. But how could you speak so boldly? Wow. It was prophetic. Yeah, I think, um, I think I've been blessed with, uh, with, with, with positivity, sometimes yes. maybe unreasonable optimism, <laughs> and, uh, and, and confidence, and belief that that which you set your mind on, you can make it, you can bring it to life. And mm. I think that's why we are here, is to, is to carry on with the creation process and to bring to life that which does not exist, mm. and, and to see it in your mind, even before it comes to, to, to be real. Mm. So when I said those words, I did not doubt them. Mm. Uh, I had absolutely no doubt in my mind and even as we've continued to face, uh, you know, we've, in that journey it's not been easy. Mm -hmm. I have never doubted that we will, uh, that will prevail mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in, the, in the end. Mm -hmm. And I think that really characterizes my, my personality. I, I rarely see the, the challenges, so it might be uh, a blind side in my, in my personality. Mm -hmm. That is not something I dwell on too much. <laughs> Uh, I, I really much dwell on the on the outcome yeah. and what that eventual goal is, yeah. and you work relentlessly mm. uh, to pursue it. So it's been all those things. We've, uh, I think, all of us who've been on this journey, mm. the last ten years we've worked uh, mm. extremely hard. Mm. In the last three years, of uh, the last three to four years, I've lost half of my hair, <laughs> uh, and the other portion. 20% is, is gray and it's fast graying, yes. but I don't regret it. That's why you are, that's why we are here, is that we've uh, set ourselves very, I would say sometimes unreasonable goals, mm. and we've also worked unreasonably hard mm. uh, to, to, to achieve them. Yeah. And um, what, I, what, what I'm personally gratified about is the foundation that we have laid so far, mm. and what that foundation is capable of achieving. Mm. Because I think uh, s the good days of Centum are still ahead of them, mm. are still ahead of us. So, mm. so I think the team that we've put in place, the different businesses we've built, I think we've built a strong foundation that mm. will see this institution mm. thrive and continue to be an impactful organization for many years to come. Mm. Yeah. You know, <coughs> James, having known you for so many years, mm. 
I know you're very modest about your yeah. achievements. And I, was, I just took, uh, I just I said, let me look at what other people have been saying about yeah. you, yeah. especially in the social media. And what really stood out for me is one word, yeah. inspirational. Yeah. Let me read you one quote from a gentleman called Carl Scout, senior. He said, you're a great inspiration to a whole lot of people. Yeah. Congratulations, sir. Yeah. And you've done all this very quietly. And just let me just mention some of the top awards that you've, yeah. you've, been, you've received as an individual. 2014, Africa CEO of the Year. 2015, East Africa Business Leader of the Year. 2011, Africa Young Business Leader of the Year. You've been mentioned in top 40, under mm. 40. And in just that period of 10 years, you've mm. also been appointed as the chancellor of Machakos University. You've also been recently appointed as the chairman of uh, Laikipia County Development Authority. It's, it's quite evident to me yeah. that the last 10 years is not just Centum and its shareholders, the numbers as you speak that has changed, it's you that, yeah. that you've really evolved and I don't know what would be your parting shot to all the people that you inspire out there. Yeah. That they would want to hear from you. Yeah. First, it's a blessing that uh, that the work we've done is inspiration to other people. Mm -hmm. I, I think when we... I remember one of the messages I gave you and you in the team is that we as young people have an opportunity to be an example of ex excellence. Mm -hmm. And I remember saying books will be written about us based on the work we will do. And, um, and I think... To, to have the fruit of your work be an inspiration to others so that others can see that it is possible to achieve through effort. I think mm. it's a it's blessing, it's a huge blessing and it's hugely rewarding. Mm. When I set off on this journey and every day I have never thought I will win an award mm. or we are doing it for any award. You know, these awards are a consequence. Mm. Uh, it's not something you set out to, to do. Mm. And uh, fortunately or unfortunately, as a CEO, you are the person who is visible. Mm. And therefore, although those awards are, uh, have my name inscribed on them, mm. they're really because of the collective effort of everybody mm. in the mm. team. But mm. as a CEO, we, the tendency of the world is to recognize <coughs> the, the leader. Mm. But there are very many unrecognized uh, heroes mm. in, this, in this story. Mm. People are still with the business. People have come and gone on to do different things. Mm. People who serve on our boards mm. and who are working very hard behind the scenes. So, mm. so in a sense, I've been lucky to be the person who is out there mm. in the front and uh, sort of the subject of the, of the recognition. Mm. But uh, what really inspires me is not even the, the recognition, is the tangibility of what we are doing and mm. the impact it's having. Mm. And I remember, uh, in fact, I remember that day, uh, one of the things I said is that we need to move with a sense of urgency mm. because every day we don't make a decision, mm. we are postponing a blessing to another person. And mm. you see, when you wake up knowing that the decision you make today mm. and the actions you make today have impact, mm. then you move with a sense of, of purpose. Mm. And so when I walk around our different businesses, um, or like, for example, just earlier this year, I was in Almasi, mm. where I was presenting a bonus check to, to the staff mm. there. And this include even people who work on the factory floors. Mm. And we presented a check of over 200 million shillings. Mm. And some of the staff cried because they had never imagined in their lives they would get the equivalent of six months salary or a year salary. Then you see you're actually having real impact mm. on the lives of, of people. And I think for anyone to be blessed with that opportunity, mm. so that you move beyond just fulfilling your own needs mm. to using the talents God has given you mm. to, to impact others. Mm. I think it's, uh, that in itself mm. is the biggest uh, recognition and reward mm. uh, one can get. Yeah. 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 Wow, James, again, yeah. Yeah. inspirational. Yeah. And for me, my take out yeah. is we are all blessed. Yeah. Don't pursue accolades. Yeah. Pursue excellence. Yeah. And books will be written about yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you for watching. My name is Paz Mushiri Mugo, the Managing Director of Nabu Capital, and you're watching Invest in Africa. <laughs>